So today we're gonna talk about spiritual warfare. Scriptures when Yeshua said, "I have received all the authority mm -hmm. in heaven and on the earth." Uh, you know, after October 7, I have heard many, many different uh, religious people, atheists, who saying about spiritual warfare, and, and it was just basically screaming, "I hate all of you! I hate all of you!" The demonic powers are real in Israel. I walked up in the night and I saw something moving really fast. I want to share with you something interesting. I want to share it with you actually with the word because it will help the world understand, the whole world to understand, you know, synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. Shalom and welcome to Voice of Judah podcast. Today we have a special guest, Pastor Israel Pochter, that he's not just a pastor, but he's my dad as well. And I'm really excited to have him. Welcome to our podcast. Hi, Shalom. So today we're going to talk about spiritual warfare. We're going to talk about uh, personal experiences, spiritual w warfare, what is that, and especially about Israel. So my first question for you, uh, how do you understand when we say spiritual warfare? Uh, how do I understand spiritual warfare? Uh, well, spiritual warfare, it's a battle between uh, uh, good and evil between uh, God and all the powers that are trying to uh, stop uh, God's work in the lives of people, in the lives of uh, you know, believers, mm. and surely in the lives of non-believers. Uh, that's the spiritual battle, that is spiritual, uh, uh, spiritual warfare. We see it uh, through all the Bible, and especially especially New Testament opening up, opening for us even a brighter and bigger picture, uh, giving us a powerful example about spiritual dynamics. What's happening beyond the practical situations? There is a spiritual powers. Mm. Do you have any scripture that you really like uh, to kind of mention when we talk about spiritual warfare? Uh, yes, the one of my my, my loved scriptures is when Yeshua said, "I have received." all the authority mm. in heaven and on the earth that's good and then later he said to his people and now i giving you all the authority and mark mark 16 says uh, they are giving you authority to uh, to destroy powers of satan to heal mm. the sick to cast out demons uh, to step on the uh, uh, scorpions and to proclaim kingdom of god so all, all of this all of this together it's actually to destroy kingdom of devil kingdom of god and to proclaim kingdom of uh, I mean sorry to destroy kingdom of devil mm -hmm. Satan and to proclaim yeah. kingdom of God so it means that we as believers we have the authority not only to all the things that we, we've been mentioned but specifically when it comes to spiritual warfare um, it's interesting because my favorite um, verse it's Ephesians 6 12 and I know that many of us know that verse but it's really powerful because it really gives you a whole picture of spiritual warfare that our uh, War is not against flesh and blood, but mm -hmm. against uh, spiritual uh, principalities. So it's really an amazing to see that. And I know that you have some experiences in your own life when it comes to spiritual warfare. But before we're going to talk about it, I know that according to uh, Judaism, there is no spiritual warfare in Israel. And many rabbis saying that there is no demons in Israel because it's a holy land. How do you see that? Well, I, I never heard that part. Mm. Uh, and, you know, Judaism, it's uh, to say Judaism, it's too general because yeah. in Judaism there is many streams, right. many different movements, and there is uh, differences about different opinions and sides. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, we shouldn't care what people say. Mm. We should care about what God is saying, what the Word of God is saying. And our authority is actually based on the Bible, our revelation based on the Bible, on what God teaches us. And if people raise up and say, and whoever they are, uh, they can be Christians, they can be rabbis, doesn't matter. If anyone teaches uh, something that not uh, going al not aligned with the Bible, I simply don't care. I can listen and can, you know, I love to analyze things. I love to learn, you know, different opinions, different movements. But uh, for me, and I believe for every Christian, the foundation for uh, for understanding of life and uh, and even more understanding of spiritual battle, it's actually mm -hmm. Bible. It is. Yeah. It so, is. So I live in Israel, and I know for sure there is spiritual battle, and there is spiritual warfare, and actually... Uh, you know, after October 7, I have heard many, many different uh, religious people, 
uh, Orthodox people, uh, secular people, uh, the artists who say about spiritual warfare, about mm. about devil, devil, yeah. about demons. Uh, so uh, that's it. Many people have actually been affected, and they understand there is something more than just human uh, acts. Even 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 when violence involved, uh, yes, people can be evil, mm. but uh, more and more people can see, and they have seen in Israel, especially in Israel, that actually there are things that beyond uh, the human nature, yeah. uh, but also testimonies that come out of uh, some terrorists, when they would uh, confess and said, I don't know how and why I did it, uh, and it, literally they would say, uh, 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 shaitan took over me, which is mean in Hebrew, in English, it's Satan. Satan, yeah. Satan took over me and uh, did these acts through me, uh, which is, uh, once again, uh, eye-opening for many who are not Christians, who don't read New like, Testament, exactly, yeah. but they can see and understand there is more than just physical war. So it's mean that more and more people, secular, that used to maybe ignore that, now they're kind of realizing that there is something that is more in behind what we see. So that's the spiritual warfare. Um, let's talk a little bit about you. Do you remember any experiences with spiritual warfare, especially your first experience? Well, we have it all the time. Even mm. today we spend quality time talking about uh, family, that they're new believers, they've been under uh, spiritual attack, and they went uh, went to, I mean, lady, went to witch, mm. uh, witch doctor, uh, and such, and uh, maybe we'll, okay, I, we can share this testimony later if we will have time, but uh, we see that all the time, and part of this testimony, eventually, praise the Lord, she come to confess to her uh, mentor, spiritual mentor, spiritual leader, and lady just came to the home, to their home, and and it was just it just happened today was saturday yesterday yeah right yeah, Sunday, yesterday, yesterday yeah. just yesterday right. and the demon and this lady received uh deliverance uh with the physical manifestations demonic manifestations and people get get free praise mm. the lord praise so uh, yeah we see it all the time uh everywhere mm. in most uh, you know christian countries and non-christian countries and we see it in israel so yes demons are real demonic powers are, are real and we see the manifestations all the time well my, one of the first my, my 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 memories i can remember i was just 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 saved and uh, i came to the conference very first conference i was a brand new believer and at the conference pastor was preaching and uh, he started to and worship start uh, preach outside it was outdoor mm. uh, uh, conference yeah. or meeting conference was indoor but meeting was outdoor one evangelical kind of meeting pastor started to worship god and suddenly uh one uh, what happens to be demon possessed man started to scream and shout uh shaking all of him like like a snake and screaming and actually screaming not the human voice but it was very loud and very deep voice mm. uh and, and it was just basically screaming i hate all of you i hate all of you that was the very first encounter That's with demonic manifestations yeah. yeah and then uh, people who well i was a brand new believer but people who were there the leaders pastors and I, I like the pastor he said like oh that's okay that's fine that's demons it's a part of that and yeah. they and they just cast out demon from this man and he was delivered how did you feel when you saw all that did uh, you feel any fear or anything no i felt cool mm. that was cool wow what's about i started to read in the bible about demons and yeshua confronting uh, evil spirits and demons actually it is real it is. it's really happening and it, uh, like I said, it happened to me in the very beginning. So I, right away, I, I I saw it with my own eyes, and uh, uh, I didn't need any further explanation that demons are real because I have seen manifestation. Mm. And surely, reading the Bible, things they come in in order yeah. and to f in full understanding uh, what is it and what is the what is our battles, what Yeshua did, what Jesus did. And I can tell you, living in Israel, uh, Jesus cast casted lots of demons, but he casted demons that came across him. Yeah, the demons he encountered uh, so he casted lots of demons uh, but not all of them but also you know demons can move from place to place and eventually I can see with the in the new time we have uh, you know new issues in Israel and uh, the demonic powers are real in Israel as in any other country or maybe even more because Probably we are more, yeah. yeah we are we are living close to Jerusalem right now we're starting a ministry in Jerusalem and I'm sure we're going to encounter uh, many, many spiritual war warfare many spiritual resistance and, and demons mm. well we grew up in the same house and I grew up under all of this 
and I can say that I had so many experiences with that. And you would think that as a as a young boy, you'll be too afraid or scared. But praise God that you've been t- teaching us from day one that you know uh, it can happen. You can see demons, but don't you worry. We have the authority. We're blessing the house. Mm-hmm. We're we're putting the, the blood of of Yeshua on the house. And it really helped us to growing up in that. That it was kind of normal. I know it sounds maybe weird to some people, but growing up in a pastor's house, you know, it's always you're kind of uh, like. A target of the enemy and I remember one of the when I was quite young I remember that I walked up in the night and I, I saw something moving really fast like around I came to you and I told you your dad I see something and you just you woke up easily let's pray let's bless let's go together you, you pray for the house you, you kind of used kind of in this you now serious tone in the name of Jesus we're, we're proclaiming the blood of Jesus and boom and it's gone because you can feel really difference but one of the most uh, crazy experiences was when you were you and mom you were in the States and me and guy my young brother were sleeping at the same room and I'm waking up in the night from I feel that my blanket is getting kind of up and I'm opening my eyes and I can see your face smiling on me in a creepy way. And like for the first second, I was kind of wondering what is going on? Because I know that you are in the state and then and then uh, you just kind of disappeared. And I, I figured out that it was demonic because you feel in the spirit something so dark and this like yucky feeling. And, you know normal reaction people can react in different way but i remember just i woke up and i said in the name of jesus i'm proclaiming the blood of jesus and i woke up but it was nothing too too much scary and anything it just i think when you're you're full of the holy spirit it really helps you because uh personality i don't like these things it's kind of not my thing but i remember every time when i'm experiencing this thing that this boldness of god is kind of waking up and i feel joy and i feel that you know i have them uh authority and really growing up in that it's uh it was really an amazing thing that it, it's a tool that i i'm bringing it to my house as well but i think it's really important to understand that people see these things and even if we as a believers we're experiencing this this uh manifestations how people in the world are experiencing that i mean there's no hope. There is nothing they can do with their own strength that can stop them. And uh, I had so many stories when I talked to people in my school, in high school, that they told me that they, they're seeing things at night. And the the way they told me that, they said that I'm so frustrated. There is no any answer. I, I don't know how to deal with that. No one can help me with that. And I, I think as a believer, it's, a, it's a something that we really should understand that it's one of the gifts of God that it gives us this authority to, to use it in in, the, in his name but uh what is the most crazy experience you, you had with the spiritual warfare well first of all uh, the most crazy one was uh, actually what happened with us when we were cursed mm. uh, as a congregation yeah, and only as, about that. as a family we were cursed by uh, orthodox group of orthodox who practice in witchcraft uh, and uh, so I know it's needed explanation, but what happened, what I learned la- later after that, that actually uh, in uh, in uh, Judaism there is a Kabbalah teaching, which is Jewish mysticism, and according to the Bible, to the Old Testament, uh, the mysticism is wrong. Mm. Uh, but anyway, there is Jewish mysticism, and I know it's a very popular. Many people, you know, going into that. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I cannot tell that all the people who are involved with Kabbalah, they are uh, going to to depth depth of Satan, you know, to all this deep stuff. Mm. Uh, but some, some, what I learned, my understanding of all of that, there are some uh, streams inside of Kabbalah that really going deep and actually they are practicing uh, witchcraft. They're practicing curses, the demonic curses, the satanic curses. And, you know, one of the examples I was, we were cursed uh, by a group of uh, people I mentioned uh, with a curse called, called Pulsa de Nura. And uh, the thing is, I didn't know about that. So the crazy part was, 
uh, when it happened, it was coming together with physical persecutions. The Orthodox would come to our congregation, mm. uh, to, uh, to the doors of congregation all the time. Uh, the big one, big protest was uh, of a thousand Orthodox men came to our congregation. You know, we have video, we have yeah. stories, we have, vi we have uh, photos, uh, all the docu doc documentary. And uh, afterwards, they continue to come. And time to time, I would come to the congregation, if you remember, uh, so we would find uh, like a voodoo stuff, mm. you know, different uh, pieces of, uh, of, of, of materials or, or toy, uh, you know, kind of uh, really like a voodoo stuff, you know, uh, tied together and some uh, gibberish or Hebrew letters, but not, not clear written there. Uh, pure witchcraft. It's yeah, pure witchcraft. Yeah, it looked like, it really looked like, like witchcraft. But what happened when all of that took place, the physical persecutions were there together with the spiritual side. Mm. And I remember the, the, the physical uh, took lots of attention because, you know, you come into your congregation, you have rabbis screaming at you, shouting at you, spitting at you, uh, trying to scare you, trying to scare the leaders, the people. You know, many times I would pull out my phone. Yeah. So I have lots, lots of video footages. I would mm. pull, pull out my phone and I would film them. In that time I put security cameras, installed security cameras. Uh, that was physical battle. Uh, we've been followed. Uh, posters of me and my wife, Vicky, uh, they were printed and spread all over the city many times. Uh, that was all the physical persecutions. But there was something more. Uh, in this season of life, I really felt pressure. It was difficult, uh, lots of confusion. Uh, suddenly we start to struggle financially. Mm. Uh, we, we had the congregation was young. Our congregation was young. Uh, we were like three, four years old congregation. Uh, suddenly we started to lose uh, f uh, funds uh, locally. The, some people moved out. Who been good givers? They moved them out. Yeah. They would move out. International friends also stopped supporting us. Some wow. of them stopped, stopped supporting us. And it wasn't big support, but still, like, like what we got started to just fade away. And uh, I really noticed that. Uh, so it was uh, many, many levels. Uh, we felt f I felt physical pressure. Uh, I really felt just, just, just pressure. I didn't know what is it. Yeah. Uh, so at that moment, I didn't know that special witchcraft was released against us. So we would pray, you know, pray God help us. We would pray prayers. Uh, but, uh, but I didn't know that actually we are under specific attack of witches. Uh, who are dressed as Orthodox, as Orthodox. walking as uh, Jewish Orthodox mm. and rabbis, uh, but actually they do practice in uh, that. And if you, when I Google uh, later, I found an article in internet uh, written by rabbis uh, when they said, actually, we uh, actually literally said, uh, this is missionaries, they're so successful because they do this and that. And they would say, be, and, and the reason is they have enormous resources, but we dry their sources, and this word already got my attention, That's we true. dry their sources, and it says, and we released Pulsa de Nura against them, so soon uh, it, will it will be finished. Be uh, now, what happened prior to this article, before I read the article, the demonic manifestations started to show up in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, time to time, I would hear like Moriel, my daughter, calling me, Daddy, Daddy, uh, there is something under my bed. Check it out. Uh, or Daddy, I just saw the shade just move across that. the room. Mm. Uh, yeah, and you share your uh, stories. And Guy would see some demons. I remember God saw, saw like, a, like, a, like, a, a, like a living toy uh, doll, living doll uh, actually was walking around and all that and stuff like that. So I would come home, uh, the kids, you guys were young, uh, you were kids, you know, you would tell me the stories, and I would pray. I would cast out all the demons, mm. I would pray over my house, over my apartment, actually we lived in an apartment uh, on the sixth floor, I would pray for God's protection, I would break all the attacks of enemies, and it, it would go. But later, sometime, some days after, it would come back, and that was what's disturbed me mm. because I know I believe in power of the Holy Spirit and authority, power of God yeah. authority in the name of Yeshua and the, my practice was before that was when I pray and when I say De devil you cannot come to my house demons they can, you cannot come across you cannot come even close they would gone that was my experience prior to that uh, I can see it as Satan would try to attack would yeah. try to do something but uh, the moment I pray in the name of Yeshua it's like Yeshua himself Jesus himself the Lord of Lords King mm. of Kings have greater authority who defeated devil uh, it's like he is speaking to devil yeah uh, that's the that's the that's the my experience and but his time suddenly I saw these manifestations would come back
again and again and again and you share one of the stories it was one of many one of many and i also have stories when i wake up i i, I would wake up uh, feeling like there's demonic presence in my room i couldn't even scream or pray or, or shut jesus mm. something like 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 choking me yeah and then i would say jesus like what is it in the name of Yeshua? And I would clean my house with the prayers. But what really got my attention, I never had this experience uh, when, when I would pray, uh, demons would leave, demons would, demons would flee. It was clear right away. Yeah. Atmosphere would change back to normal. They would flee. The presence of God would come. But uh, what disturbs me, all these manifestations, uh, they started to come back again and again. And I was like wondering, what's going how on here? Be, yeah. What's going on? How it can be? Well, how, how, how it can be? And then I found this article. So reading this article, I was so encouraged and I felt and I said, OK, so this is the witchcraft. And by the way, it says Paul Sadanur. And if you remember, Sasson, uh, back in the day, we had ex-Orthodox guy, the guy who was Orthodox, uh, Jewish Orthodox, uh, from one of the very extreme uh, movements of Judaism. And uh, he gets saved and he become part of our congregation. Yeah. He found Yeshua, Jesus, his life transformed. And he was talking to me again and again, like, Pastor Israel, we need to pray. We need to pray against demonic powers. And I would think, like, he's speaking too much about demons and about curses. He knew exactly too much. I mean, we speaks. pray anyway. You know, we yeah. pray anyway. But yeah, he knew about he knew Pulsa de Nora. He understood that. So he told me more about Pulsa de Nora. And when I Google Pulsa de Nora, what is it? Actually, you know, there is a, today there is more information in the Internet. And actually, what I found... It says, like, uh, for example, how Ariel Sharon was cursed when he died. It says 10 men, 10 religious men, Jewish men, men practicing Judaism, uh, surely Kabbalah men, need to go to the cemetery at midnight. And at cemetery, they release this witchcraft. And what happens, actually, the description says so dark. The, de- the demon supposed to come, the strong ancient demon from the rivers of Babylon, is supposed to come and strike you with a whip of fire and you supposed to die. die. Wow. Well, I can tell you, uh, first of all, we didn't die. We're alive. Even before I found this article, even before I found mm. what really taking place, praise we didn't Lord. die, praise the Lord. Mm. And uh, it's a good testimony, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't die. But also, I can, the, the, the truth is, I really felt pressure. I really felt I'm in the spiritual warfare. I really felt uh, pressure, and as, like, as I said, the, the manifestations. So I want to tell you, uh, and I want to tell to all the friends who will listen to our podcast, don't be afraid of demons. Don't be Good. scared. Don't be afraid of demons. Mm. And if you will see demonic manifestations in your home, uh, I'm sure you know people who have experienced how to pray against it. But if not, write to us. Write to us, get in touch with us. We will pray for you. I will personally will pray for you. We will pray for you and we will help you how to overcome and how to go through that. But um, what I didn't know, that actually it was specific attack uh, against uh, coming from against us, against me personally, my family and my congregation, released by specific group of people who make us a target and they started to curse us. So I didn't know that. So when I found this article, first of all, first of all I said, hallelujah, praise the Lord, I'm alive. They mm. couldn't break me, they couldn't destroy me. It was difficult. Yes, I have to say, it. I have to confess, it was difficult, uh, as, as you see. But anytime we pray, we've seen changes, we've seen, uh, we've seen victory, we've seen changes. Now, when I found, what is it about? When I found, this is actually witchcraft uh, released against me, my family, my congregation. I said, I don't afraid of devil. Mm. Okay. And, but first of all, I, I actually called my team and I wanted to invite uh, my team to Everyone pray, to but I felt you pray first. You mm. pray first. I came to my office, to my congregation, and I personally took authority in the name of Yeshua, knowing witchcraft released against me. And I spoke to municipalities. I spoke to devil. I proclaimed word of God. I proclaimed word of the Bible. And I deal with that with my prayers. And after that, I call my team. I explain them story. Actually, you know, right before that, I called the, uh, you know, our team. And uh, at that moment, I had uh, two Israeli evangelists, uh, two Israeli young men in fire for the Lord, uh, dramatically saved. And they started to work uh, 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 full time for the congregation to preach the gospel to Israelis, not only in Ashdod, but in all the region of, of the of the southern region of Israel, all the cities around Ashdod, Ashkelon, Kiryat Gad, Beersheba, and more, all the way to Eilat, uh, because I knew there is no Israelis who preach the gospel in this area. And I prayed, I believed God for miracles, and He released them for ministry. And now 
we started to lose the money and I just called them uh, just a few days before that I called them and said hey guys you see our money runs out I don't know what happened I know it's permanent it's not going to be forever like that but get ready if to, uh, if on the, uh, until end of the month situation won't change uh, we will need to let you go we will need to do break uh, like I have no money to pay you for, uh, as a salary for, as full-time evangelists but I will pray I will believe God we're going to see turn around and etc now uh, when I found about witchcraft I also see the connection between finances even finances and the, all the other stuff but also finances the pressure I felt the tiredness I felt mm. and witchcraft so, so I call my guys it's actually it's really helpful to understand that it's not only the to pray over something but when you see the full picture it gives you more uh, direction how to pray for the same situation because you said mm -hmm. i've been praying time after time the demons would go but mm -hmm. they would come back so it's i think it's really important moment to understand when you really understand the full picture of what is happening mm -hmm. it gives you a more specific way how to pray because you said by yourself that you had so much frustration but if you would knew from the beginning that it's it's a witchcraft then you would say from the beginning i'm praying against witchcrafting so it's it's important as well to understand that not only that it's you know it's something that we should yeah. remember yeah just to, to know that we actually at spiritual warfare mm. we actually as a believers and it's not only pastors not only big leaders every believer dear br brothers and sisters every believer men and women young and old uh, long time believer or young believer uh, who turned to Jesus who came to Yeshua to Jesus will face demonic attacks will face uh, work of devil in their lives and uh, praise God we have a Bible and we have teaching of Jesus that actually teaches us and guiding us how to deal with that. Because there is open attacks like, like I experienced. Uh, there is a hidden attacks you probably cannot see. But when you study the Bible and you see what happened in your life, you can learn actually. You are under attack. And you know, demons attack. Uh, what is the science? Yeah, demons attack, for example, unity. Well, mm. I found that one of the uh, things that are attacked by devil, it's actually unity. Uh, devil always attack unity. When uh, in a team, in the congregation, everything is, everyone is united. That's a threat for devil. So devil always trying to disturb people, mm. always trying to plant uh, divisions, yeah. to plant divisions to weaken congregations, that people will be busy with each other, with the mistakes of each other, with the weaknesses of each other, or differences of each other, rather than to be focused on a real enemy and cast out, cast out demons. A lack of forgiveness. Many times the devil attacking people, uh, giving them all kinds of feelings, all kinds of feelings, uh, and just lying to them. That's because good. Satan is a liar. He's a he big is. liar. Bible said he's a liar. And multiple times the Bible said Satan is a liar. liar. Yeah. So he's uh, lying to us, uh, trying to uh, put our lives down, and he constantly trying. You know, a book of Peter says, uh, devil is go walking around as a lion. Mm. Now, Bible doesn't say he's a lion. It says he's walking as, as a as lion. lion. Yeah, and he's roaring as a lion, trying to scare and trying to find prey. And, and you know, uh, if you go to animal wards, you know, I've been to safari and I've seen different uh, stories. But one of the stories say I, I've seen when uh, when lion or, or the, the lion, yeah, the lion or tiger, uh, if they see a uh, wounded animal, it just, it just triggered them just mm. trigger them it's just been, been inside of them that's a weakness if they see weakness they attack so uh, i think this is the reason or one of the reasons why apostle P peter the word of god using the word or comparison between devil and lion you see uh, when we're standing on our guard when we know about spiritual warfare when we know what's happening around us when we understand and can see in the spirit when we're under attack when is uh, th things just happened or we are under attack and when we holding our shield of faith devil cannot do much mm. he cannot do much he will probably will try but he cannot do much but when believers not equipped and they don't understand spiritual battle they no, don't know what to do and uh, and we are limping spiritually like limping like a you know like a wood uh, like a like a 
wounded animal, yeah. it's a sign for devil they can attack. Uh, that's the way I see that. And I know many times, oftentimes believers not always think about spiritual side of faith, about spiritual side of life. Many times the Christians asking questions like why it happened to me? Why I'm going through that? And there could be many di- different reasons. But one of them, most likely one of them, you, dear brother, dear sister, you under demonic attack. Mm. Uh, so that's the, and that's the message of the Bible, of, of, of the word of God. We need to be ready. We need to be aware, and I believe that just awareness is already, I don't know, 50% of victory. I would say 50% of victory. Just awareness when you know and understand spiritual world, when you're under attack and you know you're under attack, it's already a big part of victory because you know what to do next. If you're equipped and trained, you know what to do next, how to pray against, how to stop all the uh, all the attacks of devil, how to take shield of faith, and how to uh, be strengthened in the Lord, how to build your life uh, on the Lord and use authority of, uh, of believer. So that's your advice uh, for s- someone that is experiencing spiritual warfare. That's right. Mm. So the end of my story, uh, I didn't tell the, uh, all the story to the end. So in the end of my story, I called uh, my friends. I called the leaders back then after my prayer. I called them and I told them story. I opened the internet. I told them story about witchcraft. I told them about uh, Pulsa de Nura. And we started to pray, put shield of faith, pray over me, pray over us, all the leaders, pray over our families, pray over congregation. And now we've been specifically breaking down all the curses of, 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 of witchcraft, which witch people, witchcraft, mm-hmm. uh, witches, actually, yeah, uh, who are looks like rabbis, uh, walk like rabbis, maybe uh, also practicing Judaism, yet also practicing Satanism. Mm-hmm. And it's another point I wanted to speak about because I come across a few things I really want to share the story and to help to understand Please. Uh, because i will have to tell not every surely not every rabbi practice kabbalah not every rabbi is involved in witchcraft no far away in the, uh, by far not but there is some so uh, generally judaism is judaism people of israel the uh, jewish people they're chosen people by god but uh, you know we are a nation so we have all, we have religious people who are seeking for God and we have secular people who deny God and hate God. We have good people who help others and we have criminals, you know. We have uh, all kind of people as any other nation. And I want to tell you, uh, together with that, we also have Satanists, just kind of normal Satanists who look like uh, normal secular people, but they're Satanists, they really worship in Satan. Uh, we have people who practice in different religions, which is close to. Satanism, we're connected to Satanism, and we have some rabbis or some really are Orthodox people who are look like Orthodox, but actually they do practice witchcraft, they do practice these curses, and it's against the word of God. That's a different story. Now, I want to share with you something interesting. I want to share it actually with the word because it will help the world understand, all the world to understand, you know. Recently, I came across of different people who've been attacking Jewish people in person, like in Metro in London, yeah. or been uh, doing articles and talking about Jewish people, uh, claiming that Jesus called Jewish people synagogue of Satan. Hmm. I want to share with you what I learned. I know it's coming in, uh, it looks like contradiction to the Bible, because Bible still speaks that Israel is chosen. Israel is loved. Uh, you know, Apostle Paul wrote powerful epistles explaining Jewish question and actually saying that God didn't left Jewish people. He didn't forget Jewish people. He actually says all Israel will be saved. They will come and all Israel will be saved. And he said, I love my people so much with the love of Jesus that actually I, I ready to sacrifice not, not only my life, but even my salvation. And he's speaking and revealing to us hard of Father. So we know God loves Jewish people. They're chosen people. You know, they have a, they have call on their lives. And, and, and how in the world Yeshua by himself can call them uh, 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 synagogue of Satan. Yeah. So let me read you scripture. I want to read scripture and share That's my good. experience and my and revelation about that. So first of all, book of Revelation chapter 2. And by the way, same ways Jesus speak twice in the Bible, okay? So uh, chapter 2, verse 8, we, we see angels uh, of the church speaking uh, to Smyrna. It's a place actually located in modern-day Turkey. Back in the day, it was Roman Empire, right? Church in Smyrna, and it says, and it says those are the words of him who is the first and the last, who died and come to life again. Hallelujah. Then it says, verse 9, I know your affairs and your poverty, 
yet you are rich. I know about the slander of those who say they are Jews and they are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Mm. Okay, so, so what does he speak? Yeah. yeah, what does he say? And actually, twice and we're going to read the second second scripture as well. So actually, Jesus uh, speaking to John and he telling him, tell to specific group of people in Smyrna who call themselves Jews, but are saying they are not. Like why not? Uh, they are ethnical Jews. Ethnically, by blood, they are Jewish people. They are from Jewish families. But actually, it says they are not, but synagogue of Satan, because they they turn the synagogue to witchcraft. And as I, as I understand, most likely they've been practicing Judaism. They look like Jews. They say we are Jews. They practice in Judaism, but, but the also they practice witchcraft. Wow. Uh, they worship Satan, and that's why uh, Jesus is saying they are synagogue of Satan. Mm. They let Satan come to, into their synagogue with all the persecutions they they actually created against Christians in this area. So, so that's people the don't answer. understand the context of of what is is saying here. Yes. So because uh, afterwards, once again, Jesus speak about the people of Israel, yeah. about like, their, their call, about their salvation, about their all in heaven, uh, you know. So That's so good. surely, surely, uh, you know, it's clear to me, God speaks here about a specific group of people in Smyrna yeah. who are called themselves Jews, but they're, but not. they're not. And by the way, Paul also said uh, about who is the real Jewish person. But he didn't speak about blood. And heritage, he spoke about a uh, walk of faith. And actually, he used these words and he said, uh, Who is the real Jew? Speaking of spiritual heritage. Yeah. And he spoke not those who are just practicing carnal things but or born moral. Jewish, but the real or completed or come into fullness of God's call in their lives, Jewish person. This is the one who going by the st st steps of Abraham, the one who living by faith, the one who see and recognize the messiah sent by god to this earth as a jewish messiah messiah of israel mm. uh, that's what he said but it doesn't mean uh, ethnical group yeah. uh, or, or ways of life but it just makes a very strong point what is the real call of god for israel and real call of god for israel it's fullness totally of god for israel it's actually to come to israeli jewish messiah and to serve him and praise the lord we know who is the messiah we know the Messiah is Yeshua, uh, so-called, uh, you know, in English we call him Jesus, right? Uh, but in Hebrew it is Yeshua, who born and raised Jewish and revealed himself as the Messiah who, been, who came to heaven from Father, from, came to earth from heaven, uh, from Father, and etc. So verse 10 says here, do not be afraid. You see? Why says do not be afraid? Because these guys released fear against them. But Yeshua speaking the very first thing, do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. So he's telling them ahead of time, you're going to suffer, guys, you're going to suffer. You will see suffer. You will see persecutions and you will see suffer because these guys who, who are uh, call themselves Jews but they're synagogue of Satan, they will create attacks. They will create attacks over you. Uh, surely they used witchcraft, I'm pretty sure. And then it says, you're going to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you. And you will suffer persecution, persecution for 10 days. Interesting, right? Jesus giving them details. So Satan came against them because of his connection with synagogue, yeah. who, who, who created persecutions, uh, and Jews who called themselves Jews, but actually they're not. They're really servants of devil. This specific group in the city of Smyrna, synagogue in the city of Smyrna, uh, creating uh, this this demonic movement. And he said, even Satan will come against you uh, and, and some of you will be arrested. Some of you will go to prison. But he said, after that, persecutions and, and, and prison. But then, but, then, but then he said, be faithful, even to the point of death. Interesting, right? Be faithful even to death. It is. Very powerful words. Be faithful even to death. Be ready to die. Mm. Be ready to die for me, for my kingdom. And I will give you life as your victor's crown. Praise the Lord. And then you continue to encourage believers. I think it's so good because it really kind of explains you uh, that replacement theology cannot be real. Because what you're saying now, it's I think that m people are really not understanding the context when it comes to that. And it's all about 
spiritual warfare. This mm-hmm. is all connected, and yes. it's deep to know that it's it it speaks to not specifically to the Jewish people. That I mean, because for me, it's always amazing to hear people that are saying that you know the church replaced the Jewish people. But I, I'm saying it, it cannot be. That's not what God is saying here. God said time after time that this is the chosen people by God. He chose them for a reason, mm-hmm. and here. So, because I heard some people that are using the scripture and says, you see, it says that Jewish are satanic and stuff like that. And it's really kind of a thing that it's not, that this is spiritual <laughs> warfare that mm-hmm. we're, we're, we're talking here. That's right. And by the way, uh, there is a second scripture of this of the same kind in the book of Revelation chapter 3, mm. uh, also verse, verse 7, 8, and 9. It says here uh, about Philadelphia now, mm-hmm. Church of Philadelphia. Different same story. Now. Jesus talking now, Yeshua by himself, Jesus talking here and saying, those are the words of him who is holy and true, who, words key, uh, who holds the key of David. And by the way, key of David, that's a symbol of authority. Mm. He holds key of David, he, call, he, he holds all the authority. What he opens with this key of David, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. And then he's talking to this, uh, so first he's talking about him, remind them, hey, I have all the keys. I have all the authorities. I have all the power, Yeshua says. But then, and it's a reminder for us, Yeshua carry all the power, all the authority, and he is the one who closing doors and opening doors, praise the Lord. And by the way, Yeshua said, I will give you the key. I will give you the key. And what you will bound down in heaven will be bound down on earth, and what you will release in heaven will be released on earth. That's the words of Yeshua. And here we see he speaks in the same accord. But then verse, verse 8 says here, I know your deeds, See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength. I don't know, if it's, is, is it encouraging or not? Or not. But hmm. is it I open big door, but you have a little strength. You know, is it happen sometimes that you feel I have little strength? And I feel I have little strength. But he said after that, yet you have kept my words, my word, and have not denied my name. I will make those who are of the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars. Mm. I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. <clears throat> Since you have kept my command and endure uh, patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. Praise the Lord. 11. I am coming soon. I am coming soon. Hold on what you have so that no one will take your crown. Praise the Lord. Wow. So it's powerful, powerful words of Yeshua. And once again, we see the same story. Speaking of Philadelphia, he's speaking of people who are of synagogue of Satan. Uh, now, now speaks in reverse. Say yes. They are synagogue of Satan and they call themselves Jews. But actually, they are not. Once mm. again, they are not. They are mm. not. And I will do something with them. So we see it second time. New, uh, New Testament, Book of Revelation, actually revealing us there were Jewish people who would practice Judaism and practice Satanism. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have seen a number of movies and I have friends from Latin America and I know stories when actually so-called Christians or Catholic Christians or, or uh, also Orthodox Christians, they would go to the church that's supposed to worship Jesus, right? They would go to the church, and it's Catholic church, but anyway, they go to the church, and in the church, they will do witchcraft. Hmm. They will do all the voodoo stuff, you know, against different people in the church. So and if you ask using me- Using the church as something holy yeah. to, to do something That's opposite. right, supposed to be holy, yeah? Like, yeah. what is it? Same story here, as we can see and find Catholics who are call themselves Catholics, going with crosses uh, or Orthodox, or maybe even some others, Remember but actually ages, yeah. they are servants of Satan and mm. Jesus called them, uh, you know, servants of Satan, synagogue of Satan and etc. So we can see same dynamics exist even today in the world and you can see same story with Israel. And that's my story. That's what I encounter, but I want to give all the glory to God. And remember, Sasson, when he was young, he just started to become a, become a youth leader. And I told you, you know, uh, when they cursed us, and I found these curses. And then I found actually some guy, some Orthodox guy, linked it to my friend. And my friend, uh, he's not a believer, but he just felt it's right, it's right. He sent me a letter, and we still have a copy of this letter, of 39 rabbis right, right. and yeah. atmors 
it's like 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 chief rabbis at most it's like like apostles in christian world right uh, strong strong rabbis influential rabbis of of different movements in Israel, not only Ashkenazi, yeah, Malaysia, yeah. but this time also also Sephardic Jews and uh, probably others, mm. they uh, make an agreement between themselves, 39 of them, and they sign petition saying we do everything to stop Beit Halel and to stop those guys. Wow. And I can tell you, what did we do? We blessed them. You no, know, we blessed them. I mean, we, we bound down and we broke in our words and prayers, we broke the power of Satan, mm. we broke the demon demonic powers, we stopped them from uh, manifesting, when they said you cannot come close, Satan you cannot come close, all these curses cannot work, and we see, we have seen turn around, we have seen changes, praise the Lord, but what we did we do with these people who are, looks like Satanists, or do all kind of these plots and persecutions and created persecutions, and persecuting us as a believers in the land of Israel, as a messianic believers here in Ashdod, what uh, did we do? We just blessed them. We love them and, and the we bless them God. because Yeshua said our part just to bless them and mm. give them to the hands of the Lord, right? Deliver them in the hands of the Lord. So we bless them, we pray for them, and we bless them. And I told you, remember, Sasson, I told you, uh, probably these curses can come back. It can boomerang or come back, uh, you know, like backfire. Yeah. Those release these curses. And by the way, later I found articles when it some of them, at least some of them, believe uh, that actually if you do your witchcraft wrong. Uh, people who don't deserve it, it will be can backfire you. So be careful. So they mm -hmm. don't use Paul Sadanura uh, lightly, you know. But remember, I told you, Sasson, watch out and see what will happen with these people who make this uh, plot and make this agreement yeah. to curse our congregation, stop our congregation. And it happened. I rem we start tracking. We start tracking. I remember, and actually, some of them actually even die right wow. after that. Uh, but we said, okay, leave it, leave it alone. Let's <laughs> give God, God give all the God. glory. Yeah. Uh, we, we felt we felt sorry for these people. We don't want anyone to die. We don't want anyone to be, uh, you know, to, to to get trouble and you mm. know, and to open doors of devil for their lives. But God is serious when we're talking about kingdom of God and all the other powers. So uh, that's my story. Mm. That's my testimony. And after all these prayers. Uh, we learn how to, we learn how to overcome. We learn how to pull, take shield of faith. We learn how to trust God. We learn how to proclaim word of God also against all these powers. And it's good you say that. Seen, yeah. yes. Because Ephesians 6, 12, 13, it, it speaks about that, that mm -hmm. take all the weapons of God. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the armors, armors of God, God. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, and uh, actually, eventually we have seen turn around, mm. and even during the persecutions, we start to see the growth of congregation again, uh, the blessings of God again, the blessings of our families again, and many things changed around. Now, I want to tell you, I, I would love to promise you that if you believe in Jesus, if you follow Yeshua, you will, have a, you will never have persecutions, and you will never have problems, you will never be attacked by the devil. But I cannot. Because Bible said, everyone who wants to live holy life will be prosecuted. If Jesus and, was, we would be the yeah, same. That's yeah, right. I agree. That's right. And Bible said again and again, be ready, uh, watch out, mm. yeah, the, yeah, be watchful, because the uh, devil is going to try to come against you, and he will try to attack you. He will attack you, actually. But uh, when we watch out, watching out, and we understand the spiritual dynamics, we can break all the powers and uh, of dev devil de demons and we're going to see victory of god as we see in israel and i know it's not the last battle you know we have been, we have seen battles after that before that and after that and i have many testimonies to share but it's a main story mm. uh, what we have been facing to, uh, against uh, dealing with uh, but also i want to say again friends read book of revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3 and be equipped because you will hear some some even Christians trying to use the scriptures against Jewish people, saying that Jewish people they are synagogue of Satan. So the synagogues they are satanic, they're from Satan, but it's not correct. It's taken out of context. And I just share with you in this podcast, I've shared with you the context of the story. And there are some small groups of people who do practice witchcraft, but as a general, God, God loves Israel. God loves Jewish people. Have plan, for, have plan for them, and many of them will be saved. And at the same time, God loves nations. God loves, love, loves Gentiles. God loves you, your family, your church, your ministry, your nation, your city. Uh, so his, his blessings are going to be revealed also for you, and we all will see salvation of God in the nations and in Israel. Well, I think that now people have seen this 
podcast and heard that that now they have a, a better understanding of many situations that they're facing in life if you have any problems with finance health and many things it can be much more than you think or see so it means mm -hmm. that there is a spiritual warfare and i'm sure that we're going to talk about that more in the future as well mm -hmm. yeah and by the way i can tell you i have many different stories to share and probably I, w i was hoping to share it in this podcast but we just had not enough time so i have stories of uh the other demonic manifestations how we deal with the attacks of devil on in the workplace different deliverance stories and many many different stories so i'm sure we will have uh, time in the future to share more examples more testimonies and more powerful stories of deliverance of victory and uh, God is good and is working in Israel as, as, as well as working in the nations and even today we have heard a story about dem, dem, demonic manifestations and freedom right yeah. so uh, praise God God is good and we have lots of stories to share so stay tuned uh, stay tuned and uh, we will going to share little by little more stories and more testimonies uh, and I want to say just thank you so much for sh sharing your experience and I know that it will help a lot of people it will uh, ignite people and give a better understanding that the spiritual mm -hmm. warfare is existing is around them all time mm -hmm. and it's important to know that it's right across us and mm -hmm. we need to understand who we are in him and mm -hmm. the authority that we have as well not be afraid of the situation but opposite kind of you know it's all good it's a part of my walking with, with Yeshua but with God I can do everything mm -hmm. so Amen. thank you so much for being in our podcast and guys we will see you next time thank you for joining us and follow us we love you from Israel bless you